Okay, now we're going to copy the file system to the uh, myfs directory. So let's uh, first let's create the directory. Then uh, let's go there. Uh, then we're going to copy these these parts that make up the file system here. So we have uh, three copies to do. And we've got to, we want to put in our init, uh, .rc. And we're done with the copy. Okay, now we're done uh, building. Um, everything. Now we have to uh, get it onto the Zoom 2 and we're going to do that using a uh, 2 gigabyte um, SD card. Um, I have that plugged into the Linux laptop right now, uh, an SD card reader. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to uh, format it and then we're going to copy the files to it. Um, to do this, uh, let's get started with take a look and see what information we have on the on the card right now? Um, I just plug it in, and you do an F dash L, and you'll get the information. So we have this size on the card, and we also know that it is um, SDC uh, is his name. And we need to take a note of this size for it. We're gonna uh, that'll help us set the number of cylinders later. So now we'll start up the disk application. Uh, delete any partitions that may be there. Uh, this one doesn't have any. Um, go into expert mode. Set up the number of heads. Uh, let's do 255. Set up the number of sectors. Let's do 63. Okay, uh, do the number of cylinders which is what we'll get from that calculation before uh, something like this. In this card it was a little lower, it was 239. Okay. Now we return from expert mode. Set up a new partition. A new primary partition. Number one, this will be for the exloader, U-boot, and kernel. Okay, for cylinders one, and we want to go this is the size we want to use to have enough room for everything on the kernel and the U boot next loader. Now create the new partition number primary partition number two. This is for uh, the Linux file system. So we'll start with the default here and end with the default. And now we just have to set those up. So I uh, set the first partition up for FAT32. Format that, and now we can see what we have on this card. 
So we have two partitions, SDC1 and SDC2, um, with the bulk of the size being ready there for the uh, Android file system. So this is not written to the card yet until we do a, a W. For right. Okay. And sometimes after that, uh, Ubuntu will, will mount those. Um, so we'll do this just to make sure we're not uh, mounted at this point. Okay. Let's format uh, partition one. And then format partition two. Okay, so now we just have to copy over uh, the files. So let's go through this. We'll make uh, a directory for mounting. Uh, for partition 1, partition 2. Uh, we'll mount uh, SDC1 to MMC1. Okay, and then uh, we'll copy in the X loader. And then we'll copy in the U boot. And then we'll copy in the kernel. You can see these are all going on MMC1, the first partition. Copy in our file system directory, which we which we uh, copied into before. It's going to take a little bit longer. Quick there. Okay. And then uh, we need to make that uh, writable. Oh, it actually is taking a little bit longer. My MMC card still. Still blinking a little bit. So I might have to wait till that finishes. I'll we'll try it now, see if we're ready. I think it's still busy. So we're done with that. Now we just have to unmount. And we are done. And don't pull out the card until it stops with the busy sign. But it looks like we're there. And we're now ready to boot and run off of an MMC card.